The Deshaun Watson investigation has taken another new twist as the FBI has joined that side as they begin to investigate the accusations against Deshaun Watson as things need to look murky for the former Houston Texans franchise quarterback. We'll break that down in depth and it's all made possible by Magic Spoon. Get $5 off your first order on healthy and delicious cereal at magicspoon.com slash chat. No sugar, yet it tastes like the sugary stuff we all grew up with. So check them out today at magicspoon.com slash chat. All right, so the Deshaun Watson investigation in depth on this frontier as it relates to the Texans. And now the FBI has joined the, I don't know if drama is the right word, the, the, the trouble that Watson is currently facing off the football field. Now, this news was actually broken yesterday on Tuesday by CBS Sports' Amy Dash that the FBI has launched an investigation into the Deshaun Watson allegations. And for those of you that, of course, are forgetful or just don't remember what's going on there, there are 20-plus accusations, civil suits, against Deshaun Watson alleging sexual misconduct as part of massages and a very severe and troubling allegations from that point. Now, Dash had interviewed the lawyer for those plaintiffs, Tony Busby, and Busby said the FBI has already met with several placements or plaintiffs, which originally was disputed by Deshaun Watson's attorney, Rusty Hardin. We'll get to that more in depth in a second. Here's what Busby told Dash, quote, let's be clear. When somebody comes into your office on the 73rd floor of the Chase Tower, whether the, the FDA or the FBI, it's a big deal. Well, it was the FBI. They contacted me, and I've met with them three times now, and they've met with several of the plaintiffs in this case. Now, Busby's quoting here an FBI agent or paraphrasing, whatever. FBI agent's like, look, what I've heard is that most of the reach-outs occurred via the Internet, which, gives us juris which creates jurisdiction for us. Excuse me. But then I understand there were two, there were these two women that were from out of state, which obviously creates more jurisdiction as well. Now, when Amy Dash had reached out to Deshaun Watson's attorney, Rusty Harden, on August 13th, here's what Harden said. Quote, I have absolutely no reason to believe that Deshaun Watson is being investigated by the FBI. I have absolutely no reason to believe that Mr. Busby's spin is the truth or that it's any more accurate than any of the misstatements he has sponsored. I simply do not believe the FBI is investigating Deshaun. Well, now today, as part of a press conference, Hardin has very much changed his tune. Quote, I don't think they're investigating Deshaun. What they're investigating is the allegations Busby made in his lawsuits. I didn't know about that until yesterday. I checked it out. It's true they are. Harden also said this. In April, the FBI came to us and told us they were investigating a matter as to whether one of Mr. B Busby's clients had committed extortion in the way they were demanding money from Deshaun or what they would do if they didn't pay it. Now that is significant because those last two quotes from Watson's attorney are very different than the first one that he provided Amy Dash. And I get it. Look, there's Lawyers speak, etc., blah, blah, blah. You're trying to put up a good public front for your client. That is a substantial difference in terms of what Harden said previously and what he said today. He didn't mention the FBI stuff to Dash. Now he is in his public comments. There is, in reality, a battle of in the court of public opinion going on right now for Watson's camp and the plaintiff's camp trying to win the, the, the groundswell of public opinion and win their case in the end. But this is another investigation into Deshaun Watson. That is significant as it relates to what is going on with the future of Watson in the NFL, the civil suits, and of course the legal ramifications as well. As mentioned, today's show made possible by Magic Spoon. Now, normally when I was a kid, I always had that delicious sugary cereal, right? Tasted great. Not great for my teeth and, you know, the dad bod that I've cultivated over the years. Not the case, though, with Magic Spoon. A, incredibly high in protein, 13 or 14 grams in every bowl. It's also low in carbs, 4 grams net per bowl. And despite having zero sugar, it tastes 
just like the stuff we all grew up with. I promise you on that. So get $5 off your first order of a box, or hell, maybe four, over at magicspoon.com slash chat. That link A right there, bottom of your screen, there will also be a clickable one for you guys in both the comment section and in the description. So the FBI, they are now involved in this investigation, adding another layer of, of complexity to what is probably going to be a rather drawn-out process. The FBI, they are now investigating Watson for, frankly, what's, what's going to come down to some potentially very serious charges because by if 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 Watson did it, and again, we'll let the process play out. If Watson did what he is accused of, by having women have by flying women in from out of state, that puts him up against potential human trafficking charges. Which is kind of a big freaking deal if you're Deshaun Watson and you don't want to spend a lot of time of your life in jail. The Houston PD, of course, they are investigating. I got my notes here real quick. Uh, eight, there are, they have interviewed 10 plaintiffs that we know of so far, eight of whom are among the 22 civil lawsuit plaintiffs, so that's significant. In the Harris County, allegedly, the DA has convened a grand jury. Subpoenas have gone out, so that could be coming down soon. And oh, by the way, the NFL, they are investigating Deshaun Watson and coming under public scrutiny so far for their handling as some of the alleged victims have spoken out how they felt treated by the NFL. The NFL one impacts Watson's job in the short term, but of course the legal ones are pretty damn significant as well. So will Deshaun Watson play this year? This is like the elephant in the room, right? The big question around his future in the NFL. He's out there in the weirdest situation ever at, at camp, not participating. Is he going to play at all this year? I honestly don't know. So get your votes in. One for yes or zero for no. I mentioned the weirdness, right? And this is such a weird situation. Deshaun Watson is a franchise quarterback on the field only, right? He is listed by the team as the fourth quarterback early in camp, and he's been sitting out for reasons because the two sides don't like each other right now, right? Is that Deshaun Watson is the fourth quarterback on the team and got reps as the, as the scout team safety. I have never seen anything like this in my admittedly rather young life around the NFL. Like Deshaun Watson on the field is a star. He's so good. He's a top five, top 10, top whatever you want to label him on the field only quarterback. For him to now be mired in these, in these accusations is just, it's pretty unheard of. And even though at this at some level is kind of being put to the side a little bit, the investigations are certainly real. And now the Texans and Watson are kind of stuck in this limbo of, got to ride this one out, and I don't know how it'll end for Watson in the NFL, and frankly, as it relates to the, to the legal process as well.